Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. This is Katie. If you're new here, hi, welcome. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I am coming on to share an unboxing with you all. And to be totally honest with you, I'm not sure which company this kit is coming from. It's from one of two companies, both of which um, the tracking that they sent me was only working up until it ended up in the States. My guess though, yes, I was correct. This is from Craft Ease. So I'm super excited to get into this with you guys. This is a company that legally licenses their artwork from the artists. And as you know, that's a huge value on my channel is I am trying to only purchase from companies that are compensating their artists fairly for their work and not stealing artwork. Interestingly enough, there was a little bit of a back and forth with crafties as far as um, whether they were kind of doing everything correctly, which they were trying to do everything above board. So you may have seen uh, Mrs. Crochet and Coffee over on her channel has posted about this company a few times. And at first it was like, oh no, this artist is exclusively licensed with another shop. And so they were gonna have to pull all these kits by that artist. Um, and then it turns out that they worked something else out because when I, I was looking at Crafties' website, saw that they had artwork from this particular artist and thought, wait, I thought they were supposed to take all of that artwork down and now I'm seeing new pieces from this artist. So I messaged her, which I don't know why I'm being cagey about it. The artist is Sybil Art. She's uh, licensed with DIY Moonshop as well. So I messaged her right away and said, hi, I just wanted to see if Crafties was still okay to have your work. I saw they had some new pieces of yours and I thought that you were exclusive with DIY Moonshop. And she said, no, everything is above board. And, you know, yes, Crafties is legally licensing my artwork. So just an FYI, if you're ever not sure about something like that, most artists are super quick and super happy to respond if you reach out to them and ask if a company is legally licensing their artwork because that art theft is so rampant in the crafting community that a lot of artists just don't even have the time or the um, money <laughs> to chase down the different companies that are not, that are stealing their artwork. All this to say, this is legally licensed. <laughs> so if you look at it and you're like, wait, I thought, no, they worked something out. So this is the beautiful, I'm afraid I'm gonna mispronounce it, Kaori, K-A-O-R-I, from the artist Sybil Art. This is Craft Ease, it is legally licensed. This is a, I thought it was a 30 by 50, this says 40 by 50. We'll measure and make sure that's the drill field. But I just, I really wanted to try Crafties and I haven't seen anyone work on this kit yet. And I feel like it could work up pretty quickly and I was intrigued, very intrigued. I think the colors are really beautiful. So let's look at the canvas itself first. It is kind of like a stiff oil cloth, is that what they call it, canvas? Um, branding at the top, Craft Ease. We have all the info here the model number, the name, the size, and the little thumbnail, and then our schematic. It looks like this one has 27 colors. I believe at least one or two of these are a special drill and or a special shaped drill. So we'll get into that. That is a really nice feature of Crafties's. Crafties's. Here's their website and their social media. So let me pull back the cover. This is poured glue, which Yes, but it does, it does look like it got just a little wrinkled in transit. Since it is poured glue, those wrinkles should come out pretty easily. There are folds on the back. We'll see what we can do about that. But another way that I like to flatten out my canvases is just pulling back the plastic cover. I do it halfway so that I don't inadvertently put it down back down the wrong way because these are not reversible plastic covers. If for whatever reason you take off the entire plastic cover and you need to put it back on, please test it in a small corner first because if you put it with the 
top side down, you will have a very difficult time getting it back off of your glue. It can ruin your canvas. So this will is already helping it lay flatter. Also, since this is poured glue, we can roll it because that is quite the fold. But it should come out without, without too much trouble. Yeah, okay. So let's measure it and see what we're working with. This says it should be 40 by 50. And we have just a tiny nick short of 50 that probably is coming from that little fold right there. And then just about 40. Just a tiny, tiny bit short of 40. So it is true to size, I love that. And the symbols are extremely clear. Like they're completely and totally clear. I'm really happy that this does not have the little training circles in it on them. Um, this is a round drill kit. We'll get into the drills here in just a minute. Those Z's have training circles though. We'll see how, how the drills look. Oh, and also I always like to kind of test the glue. Ooh, very sticky. Yes, love it. Okay, ooh. <laughs> I was so excited to get into the canvas, I just completely glossed over the toolkit. Since this is a little bit newer company, I'll go ahead and take a minute to show you the toolkit so you can see what you will get. So two pens, both with multi-placers on the end. That's nice. And two squishies to go with them. Two plates of pink wax, and they gave us tweezers, which that probably is going to help with the special drills maybe and then our boat, our white boat. So that's, I mean, that's pretty generous for a, I mean, not, not that necessarily all of us are using the basic toolkits, but it's nice that they gave us all of those tools to go with it, even for a small kit. I'm gonna flip this over. Let's look at our drills. So if you're not a fan of crinkling, mute for just a sec. So it looks like these are just numbered with our, I'm assuming, mm, hmm, okay. So the drill packages themselves do not have the DMC code on them. However, the legend here does. So I'm just thinking ahead to when I kit these down. I want to be able to kit them down by DMC, but I can just look at the legend. That's not a big deal. And also, what I'm probably going to do, since this did not come with a separate inventory sheet, I'm probably going to make a copy or take a picture of this schematic, print it out, then cut that out and run it through my Zyron sticker maker, and then put those on my storage containers when I kit up. So just a quick note for all of you at home. <laughs> so we have these muted blues and grays. The drill quality looks good from what I can see. There are a straggler or two, but that is not a big deal. Crazy, oh, that bright red, of course. I was gonna say, we're gonna have some of those bold colors in there for sure. Okay, so this looks like our, ooh, that, that's kind of a bummer. That'll be kind of a pain to separate out, but that is okay, at least the colors are not too similar. It looks like the bags did not get fully sealed in between, and so these two colors mix. But again, this is a red and this is a gold. It's annoying, it is not the end of the world. I really hope that we don't run into that elsewhere in the strand, but let's, okay, moving back. <laughs> So these look like these are some of the special drills that came with the kit. They gave us two bags of them. I don't know if we'll need two bags. I'm really curious what happened here. I'm gonna move on. <laughs> but look at that extra sparkle. I bet that's gonna just be really, really gorgeous in where it outlines. And I bet it's in the outlining. We will take a look at the canvas here in just a moment. Then we've got this red, a little bit of gold. That's actually a really pretty color combo. <laughs> I have some oranges. Yeah, lots of like stragglers and stuff. This is, okay, here's the weird part. 
This style of drill packaging, usually I associate with really high quality drills and like, I mean, the drills themselves look fine, but something wonky happened with their packaging process because there's like multiple issues throughout here. But let me, okay, I will say to me, this is not something that was a deal breaker, like at all. So please don't take it in that sense. Like, yes, the mixed drills is a pain, but like this is, that is a solvable problem. <laughs> and little stragglers and random things like that, like a little bit of packaging wonkiness, again, not a big deal. I'm just noting it because I do a lot of unboxings and want to acknowledge that, yes, I see it. In case you're watching and going, why aren't you saying anything about this weirdness? Okay, back to the colors. There's like three bags of that gray. Okay. Pinks and blues. I have a feeling, I kind of, I feel like there's gonna be plenty of leftover drills. I, that's, it seems like they give you a lot, so. We'll see. Okay, there's one strand and let's take a look. Okay, okay, another special drill. They look just a tiny bit dusty inside, but that's super common with crystals. So this is more of a pale yellow. The other one was more of a true yellow. This is kind of a muted. So yeah, we'll take a look at the canvas and see where those go. More blues. This is gonna have really beautiful contrast, I think. All right. Oh, and we have one more. These clear. That's neat. I do really, really like that they are including these special enhancement drills with the kit. I think that's gonna be really, really neat to see. So, okay. Let's take a look at where these are going to be. So they've highlighted the two special drills. And then at the bottom, like those clear ones we just looked at, it's putting, I don't know, it's not highlighted, but I mean, it's white, so that's probably why. So we're looking for the symbol X and the symbol J. So the X is completely outlining these flowers. There's some J through here. There's X just, oh my gosh, that's gonna be so, so pretty. There's, the sparkle is everywhere, I love it. And I haven't really, okay, so that Z, that like clear crystal we saw outlines in her neck and around her face. And again, more with the yellow X. We see a lot of the Z throughout the clouds as well. And J's and X's, so it's like, all of the like like all of the objects in here are outlined in those sparkly crystal drills. I think this is gonna be really pretty, don't you? I I really like this, and I bet it would work up really quickly. Maybe I'll work on this after my after the next project I have kitted up. But yeah, so the price point for Craft Ease is a little bit on the higher side. They actually mostly do paint by number kits. They've just just recently started branching into diamond painting and they already have a lot more selection now than they had a month or two ago when I was looking and like I said they're legally licensing their artwork uh, so far I really like the look of the drill quality the canvas quality is fantastic the rendering looks really pretty I'm really anxious to see how this looks with drills on and completed but uh, the price point I feel like it was just a little bit on the high side for me. It seems like they do run some discount codes, like if you sign up for their emails or whatnot, you can get 10 or 15% off, maybe 20. So definitely hunt around for something like that. I don't have an affiliate code or anything like that because I'm not an affiliate, but, um, and honestly, I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head exactly how much I paid for this, but if I can, I will insert it here so you can see what I paid for it. But yeah, I'm excited to try to get into this piece and let you guys know what I think of this company. Um, but yeah, let me know, have you ordered from Crafties and tried any of their kits before? And what has your experience been like? Cause I'd love to hear about it. Um, if you have any questions about this canvas or about the company, I'm happy to answer to the best of my ability. Just leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you on it as quickly as I can. Uh, but yeah, that's it on this for today. 
Uh, if this video was helpful for you, please leave a thumbs up before you click away. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I share new videos. And you can hang out with my little corner of the internet here. I try to share lots of videos on things like unboxings, post reviews, whip and chats, that sort of thing. I think we have a fun time. I'd love if you join me here too. So anyway, I hope you all have a really wonderful week. I will talk to you all again soon. Bye. Thank you.